Hey guys, so it's kind of warm this week, huh? I'm gonna go walking around the farm and let's see what's going on up here and say hi to all the animals, okay? So here's Mr. Turkey. He's just enjoying his summer. And he doesn't do too much except for wander around like this, keeping all the ladies safe. All right, so now I'm gonna walk back here and see what all the sheep are doing and the piglets. I see my husband's back there giving everybody water. So most of the time we have to take care of these animals, it's making sure they have enough water. And actually, next month I'm gonna buy a bunch of water troughs so that they all have a lot of water and we might not have to do it every single day. All right, so here's all the sheep. Let's see what they're doing. They seem hungry or needy about something. Now that most of the grass is gone, we have to feed them every day and they get really frustrated that there's not green grass to eat. So, all right, so they see my husband up here and that looks like where they're trying to go because he has a bucket. So when you're walking around with a bucket here, you're just pretty much gonna have a ton of sheep following you, wanting to see if there's food in it. Uh, uh, Hi, Susie. Uh, Hi, Susie. That's Ricky Ricardo, he's pretty needy. What's up, Ricky? There's a good sheep. Yes. Yep. Oh, and here's Curly, what's up, Curly? Yes, it's good a pet. See, he sometimes wags his tail when I pet him. Well, this is not interested. All right, so in here. Oh, look at my husband's been busy. Oh, I hear a baby squealing. So he's separated. You see these two pigs right here. These females were fighting with the mama pig because mama doesn't want to have these two females near her babies. So my husband just made this division. He's always working so hard, making sure everybody's safe. And in here is the mama pig with her piglets. And now she's not gonna be fighting with the other pigs. Oh. So definitely don't underestimate the power of a mama pig. She could probably bite your finger off. She could definitely rip a big chunk of flesh out of your leg. So we make sure to respect her and give her space. Look at them. So cute. Super cute babies. They're gonna grow fast. So these pigs are not gonna be eating this food. They are for pets because pot belly pigs stay small and they don't get as big as a regular pig. So people like to keep them as pets. Some people do eat them, but people are going to buy them here as pets. So they're in the shade. They have a nice little space. They got water. Everything just seems nice. And then they got these sheep them. So then if we come over here, we have another yard. This is the daddy pig. Now big daddy's all by himself because we don't want him in with the piglets because he might hurt them. We've never actually seen him hurt a piglet, but we don't want to risk it. He's a pretty big guy. I'm guessing he's probably 300 pounds. And so he's way over here. Here's another view. I hope you can see it okay. You can see Mama Pig laying there and her little piglets walking around. And we had to use chicken wire because they were getting out. And yesterday they got out and they were running around with the sheep. So we can't have that. Look at those little piglets just squeezing by. We still need to see how many boys and how many girls we have. But we'll do that eventually. What's up, guys? What's up? Okay, here I am with the sheep. Oh, I was 
trying to get a view of some sheep, but here everybody is. And oh, Curly's gonna come up and say what's up. Hey, Curly. What's up, Curly? He's really friendly. Yeah, you're a friendly guy. All right, everyone. So that's pretty much what's going on up here. Um, we've been dealing with the piglets and the heat, and we're about to go swimming in Butte Creek. So. I hope that you're doing lots of swimming and staying active and making sure to not be out in the sun too long without sunscreen water and all that stuff. So anyway, um, miss everybody and see you soon.